budgets let's show you how budgets work so if you've got the right permissions business and budgets the idea with budgets is you create a budget and you assign it to either a division or a project if we go into 20 line budget as an example the very first screen will be the settings around this individual budget so this budget is yearly it's uh, running until the end of the financial year it's based on nominal codes it's already been assigned to the division called 20 line budget over here it's enabled so therefore it's working um, i can enforce spend control which means that if somebody wants to raise an order uh, and they're out of budget they won't be able to raise the order and enable rollover means that underspend or overspend is carried forward the actual detail of the budget is on the second tab and when we bring this up we have all of the different nominal codes and the amount of money that we can spend on that budget if we wanted to add another nominal code we would just select the nominal code and we would put in a value say 400 pounds for example if we click next then we get a summary and we can commit any changes uh, and effectively save our updates if a budget has expired it will show it's expired it just means it's basically run on past the uh, uh, expiry date if i go into the budget called budget this is a monthly budget again same uh, date year time uh, based on nominal codes this one's assigned to a different division of research um, but the details on this one is one nominal code of a thousand pounds per month and if i show all periods then you get an opportunity of overriding the nominal codes here as well you'll notice you can download the budget line csv edit them and then import them again uh, by using the upload budget line csv